one of the Montana science standards is to show how the earth changes. And one of the ways that the earth changes is through the process of weathering and erosion. Erosion, very simply, is pieces of rock, in this case we refer to them as sediments, being moved. And there's a lot of different ways they can be moved. They can move by the ocean, uh, rivers, uh, streams. They can be moved in lakes. They can be moved by wind. They can be moved by ice. Uh, this is through uh, glaciers typically moving, and they can be moved by gravity. Here you see a landslide. We could have slumps. There's a variety of different ways, of what are called mass movements uh, that cause uh, ground movement or erosion in this case. Weathering, slightly different. Weathering means that the rock has been changed somehow. Again, a lot of different ways that this can happen, but essentially changing means it can be broken into smaller pieces. It can be changed from one kind of a a mineral to another, uh, some sort of alteration. These, uh, th these are all examples of weathering. And weathering has to happen before erosion because this is essentially how the rock gets broken into smaller pieces which are later moved. There are two types of weathering. The first is mechanical weathering. Mechanical weathering is basically the breaking of rocks into smaller pieces. And this can happen through abrasion. Uh, this is where you have uh, an example of windblown uh, sand particles eating away um, at the rocks around them. Another is ice wedging. This is a common one. Uh, say in Glacier Park, for example, you have ice uh, melting into water, getting in between rocks, and it freezes. And as it freezes, it expands, breaking the rocks apart like you see in this diagram. The next is plate movement, so uh, when the plates move around, um, that can break rocks into smaller pieces, those stresses. Uh, it can also cause things like earthquakes. And another example is uh, plants and animals, whether they are burrowing animals or, uh, like you see in this picture, the tree roots, uh, digging into the rocks and breaking them into parts. These are all different ways um, that weathering can occur. And then the other is chemical weathering. Chemical weathering happens in two main places in the ocean. Um, and then the other one that you might think of uh, is uh, in uh, caves where limestone is eaten away uh, and transported by water to different areas. So that's weathering and erosion.